What is going on guys, Sanjuri here. Today we'll be doing a quick review and unboxing on the Gaming Freak Chanter Studio Pro. Now I purchased this microphone at Tana Match Outlet and it is priced at 309 ringgit Malaysia. So the whole voiceover of this video that you are hearing right now is recorded through this awesome microphone. At first glance, the packaging for this microphone is very very nice. I really like the design and feeling of the protective case. It feels really really solid and sturdy as it will perform a very good job on protecting the item inside the box. Moving on inside the box, you will be receiving a shock mount, the mic itself, a foam cover, and USB type B cable, a table stand, user manual and a pop filter. So this will be what it looks like when you are finished assembling the microphone. You can adjust the pop filter angle and the height of the microphone however you like. There is also a dedicated mute button on top of the microphone. Furthermore, the weight of the microphone combined with the table stand is actually very heavy so quite good for me as it's not easily to fall over. Next, I also did some sound tests for you guys. The first test will be playing a classic guitar from the distance that I show on the video. Second will be a slightly close up microphone test, this time will be approximately same as the video. So I also did a quick comparison between the Razer Kraken Pro version 2 and the Gaming Freak Chanter Pro here. What is going on guys, Sanjuri here, testing the mic on Razer Kraken here. What is going on guys, Sanjuri here, testing the gaming free channel Studio Pro here. So we obviously notice there's a huge difference between both microphones. Of course, the Razer Kraken Pro version 2 is designed mainly for gaming and not mainly used for voiceover or podcasts. But Razer Kraken version 2 actually did a pretty good job if you are not comparing both of the microphones. Overall, I'm very satisfied throughout the entire microphone and equipment. The pop filter and the foam cover did a very good job on reducing the wind sound. For me, I'm very happy with this purchase. So what do you guys think about this microphone? Is it worth the price it? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more videos. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next one.